What's going on everybody, Wacko Backo here, and today we're going to be opening up some Vivid Voltage Packs here. I apologize for the absence, but like I mentioned in a previous video, uh, there's a little bit of a shortage in my area. Uh, they still haven't really restocked any of the stores by me, um, and I have, what, two or three Targets near me, uh, at least two Walmarts, um, and nothing. And if there was anything, um, I guess people got there before I did. So I apologize for that. Uh, but I finally got my hands on some packs, so we're going to go through that today. I do have a bunch of mail coming in. I got some in yesterday, and I have a whole bunch more coming in early on Friday. So uh, let me know in the comment section below if you think I should do mail day on Friday, like later in the day, or just hold off till Sunday and we'll do just like end of week recap. But without further ado, let's crack into this here. Um, you guys have to let me know how the lighting is as well. It is early in the morning. Um, and I just have my, my regular lights set up over here and over here. Um, so let me know how that is. I know there's probably gonna be some shadowing and stuff like that, but yeah. Um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Vivid Voltage. Uh, still got uh, plenty more of this set to go through. Um, yeah, nowhere near completing it. So um, yeah, it'd be nice to, to get some of those higher end cards here in this opening. Um, but I also need some of the regular hollow rares uh, and some of the regular Vs as well. All right, so let's see, a little bit of shadow there, but I'm gonna just try and hold the cards like this here. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will work. Uh, hopefully everyone's been doing well. Um, I know I've been very busy, um, besides not being able to do this, uh, I've been really busy with the two classes I have this month. So yeah, um, and like I said, I'm gonna try and keep up with the schedule the best that I can, but you know what, that's really restricting me. Ooh, <laughs> very nice, Orbital V. Uh, this is actually one that I needed, so very nice pickup there. Um, uh, the only thing that's really restricting me from putting out content right now um, is really just having product. Um, you know, unless you guys don't mind seeing me do some kind of content where I'm not opening up packs, you know, maybe go through collection or some like insider info kind of stuff or Pokemon news, um, then, you know, then I can still create content. Uh, but if you want me to just stick to opening up packs, let me know in the comments uh, what you think. And, uh, like I said, I do this stuff for you guys. Um, it's kind of the reason why I got into creating content um, because I was already opening up packs and stuff for myself, um, which I would be doing this anyway. But uh, I wanted to get into the community and just build a little bit of an audience here. So let me know what you guys think. All right, so here we go here. All right, let's see what we can get. Yeah, I can tell the lighting's a little bit off, but like I said, it's pretty early here this morning, so Let's see what we can get here. Um, it'd be nice to pull uh, another one of the amazing rares. I do have all of them, but I'll always take a duplicate. We have Swellow as the reverse and a Binette. All right. Um, so yeah, uh, getting close to about the midway point of January already, which is kind of crazy. Um, yeah, and then we're about a month out from the 25th anniversary set coming. Um, I haven't seen an actual uh, like release date or anything like that. Um, and as of this video, the set list isn't out yet. So um, if you guys have any information on that, definitely leave it in the comments. But don't spoil anything. Like, um, you know, I'd rather you just tell me, hey, the set list is out and <laughs> I'm okay with that. Um, just because I want to experience all this stuff fresh on the day that it comes out. Uh, Zapdos has the reverse, a very, very nice reverse there. And the artwork on that is absolutely amazing. And behind that is another Binette. All right, cool. Um, but yeah, and then, like, literally about, um, I don't know, it might be exactly a month, a little bit less than a month, uh, we have the next regular set. It's like Fighting Styles or something something along those lines uh, for the next Sword and Shield set that comes out. So that should be interesting as well. Uh, if you guys aren't aware, they're adding a brand new mechanic to the TCG with that set. Um, so those of you that actually play, that should be pretty interesting to see how that works. Um, besides that, there's always Japanese products coming out, which I'm trying to get my hands on, but um, usually that stuff just takes time to come in. Riolu has the reverse, and behind that, a Perserker. All right. So, nothing too crazy so far. I mean, we did get that Ore Beetle, which is good, because that's one that was missing. Um, and yeah, I mean, I guess I guess that is good. I don't know what I'm saying. Because uh, it is ultra rare, so I'll gladly take it. Um... Yeah, so besides that, I uh, haven't really been up to too much. Um, just been working on assignments and trying to stay on top of those. 
especially with two different classes at the same time. Um, yeah, it just it's it's very busy, very fast. So if you don't start on the assignments as soon as they open up on the school's portal, um, you can get behind very easily. Um, and I, I bet there's other people out there that struggle with the same thing. We have the widened stadium as the reverse and a Darmanchian. All right, nice. So another ultra rare. I'll gladly take that. That is card number 36 of 185. Let me sleeve that up real quick. And I am using the Pikachu sleeves from the Elite Trainer box there. Uh, I do have another one of these. Um, I usually get like two or three TBs. I uh, usually one to keep sealed. And that'll probably open up at least two within the life uh, the lifespan of whatever that current set is, as you can tell by the wall of ETBs. So let me know in the comment section below if you want to see another one of those open. Um, I'm still waiting on a response for all my bulk turn in. Um, I broke it down into two different shipments. Um, it was literally uh, 8,900 cards total. I think that the final number came out to. Um, and I did roughly about half of that as trade-in value for the, uh, the store's website. And then the other half I'm getting back as cash. So, yeah, I'm going to try and pre-order whatever I can pre-order. And then the rest, ooh, <laughs> very nice. Charizard Reverse, very, very nice to pull that. Um, and then the, what I was saying was the rest of that will go to uh, either buying what I can online uh, or just, you know, money in my pocket for, <laughs> for getting stuff here. So let's see what's behind this. Metagross. All right, not too bad. I'll definitely take that Charizard, though, so that's nice to see. I'll put that off to the side. Um, but, yeah, so hopefully I can hear back sometime this week, maybe early next week on the bulks. Um, Mainly for like the, the cash back aspect, like the store the store credit, that's fine because I can just order stuff whenever I want off their site. Um, but yeah, once once the cash hits my PayPal account, then like I said, I can put it back into the channel. It's a nice little self-revolving wheel here. All right, so let's see what we have here. We only have a couple more packs to go. Um, like I said, we, we, we're doing okay so far. Um, definitely some other cards I'd like to see, but... Uh, I think that's what I like about this. It's just all random and, you know, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. All right, so we got Flareon as the reverse, and behind that, a Ninjask. Um, don't remember if I pulled this one yet. I'll have to double check. Uh, I think I'm still missing the Whalmer card, or the Whale Lord. Um, the only Pikachu I pulled was the regular V, so I'll still need the V Max, the Seeker Rare, and the Rainbow Rare, uh, which for those of you that don't, Keep up with any like the marketing or like the pricing behind it. The Rainbow Rare Pikachu right now is at like 380 bucks. I think that's why I saw it uh, selling as on TCG, on uh, TCG Players website. Sorry. Um, so yeah, that card is definitely expensive. Um, but it's kind of cool to see a card, you know, kind of hold value like that outside of a Charizard. Um, all right. So let's see. What we have here we have Shuppet as the reverse, and behind that. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. We finally got a Whale Lord. Very, very cool. I like the artwork on that one there. You see the Whalemur just like getting completely knocked out of the way or it's jumping next to its evolution, but very, very nice. I'll gladly take that. All right, cool. Um, that's the other thing I like about these openings too. Even if I don't pull like the flashiest, most glamorous cards, uh, if I can pull anything that is missing from my set, I see that as a win. So I will gladly take that. We got one more pack to go after this, and then I'll give away a couple more codes. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this content. Again, I apologize for the absence. Um, but like I said, when there, you know, I don't have anything coming in, there's not much I can do. Um, but like I said, unless you want to see other content where I'm not opening up packs, like I said, I can show off my sealed collection. Ooh, 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 ooh. hold on a second. Good old Jirachi. So we did pull an amazing rare. And this is a good one to pull. I think this is one of the most expensive ones. Absolutely beautiful card there. Love the texture. I'll sleeve that up in a second. Let's see what's behind it. A Terrakian. Very, very nice. Um, good. So we did pull an amazing rare. And uh, definitely the one you want to pull. Uh, I still think my favorite one is the... Um... Wow, I'm really going to draw a blank right now. Sorry, I guess it's uh, I guess it's just too early. Um, man. Oh, the Rayquaza. That's what it is. That's, that's my favorite one so far. Um It'd be interesting to see, you know, how they add some, because I know in the Shiny Star V uh, packs that they, they came out with the Japanese set, 
um, they had more amazing rares in that set. So be interesting to see when they drop them in the English set. But here we go, last Vivid Voltage here. Um, again, if you like this kind of content, definitely leave me some likes and some comments and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, again, I, I know it's a little bit earlier, but let me know how the video quality is, how the audio is. Um, that's all stuff I, I want to be constantly uh, getting better and making better, uh, just to get better quality videos for everybody. So, all right, let's see what we can grab in this last pack here. Hopefully we can get something, but if not, I think ending off on that Jirachi is, is, is a pretty good way to go. So we've got Giraffer against the reverse, and behind that, <laughs> good old Whimsicott. All right, so yeah, not bad, not bad. Um, definitely pulled some pretty good cards and again, pulled stuff that I was missing. So let's give out these last little bit of codes here. Best of luck to whoever gets these. And uh, yeah, so let's take a look. So we got the Charizard Reverse there, which is really, really nice. I'll have to check the pricing on this. Um, I still have one of the theme decks, the Charizard theme decks that has the, the Cracked Eyes Hollow. Uh, if anyone's interested in that, hit me up on Instagram. Uh, I can trade it, or if you want to just outright buy it. Um, we had the Whale Lord Holographic, which again, um, not super amazing, but it's uh, my first time pulling it, so I will gladly take that. We got the beautiful Jirachi Amazing Rare there, and that is card number 119 of 185. And you can see it's got its own little emblem there with the A, um, all the little textured circles on here, just absolutely beautiful card. And then for our ultra rares, we got Orbeetle and Darmanchian. Orbeetle is a first time pull for me, so I'll take it. And Darmanchian, I've got a couple times already. So, but yeah, overall, that's not too bad. I will gladly take that. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Again, stay tuned. Uh, I am trying to keep the schedule as best as I can, but just be flexible. And uh, I always appreciate all the support. So, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I'm Wacko Backo. Take it easy.